This was sent to me free by Mattel! In the post! <laughs> Straight up there, he's like, Master commands me. He also smells like peanut butter, <laughs> and I kind of like that. I do. And no, don't jump! Don't do it! Hello, everybody! We got a delivery! Yeah, um, so this came in the post not too long ago. Uh, Mattel, I think, sent me an email. Like, they, they never have any contact, but the one, the one email I sent was like, we're gonna give you something. Are you ready? This appeared. I was quite surprised. It was quite a big box. As you can see, on the front of it, we got freaking Blue, we got Beta, we got Rexy, and we got Pyroraptor. Or should I say, Aquatic Raptor. So we'll have a quick look around the box because, again, the art on this is absolutely gorgeous. We got a lovely. Hold on. <laughs> Render of the uh, Jurassic World Dominion Dilophosaurus. That's actually in Primal Ops. That, that same image, so they're obviously using that in quite a few of the promotional uh, things. We've got a lovely shot of Rexy on the back there. And who could forget one dinosaur we've barely seen in any of the promotions? The Therizinosaurus, yes! And on the front is a lovely, massive, Jurassic, I should be really at the side here, it's that big, isn't it? The Jurassic World Dominion logo. Now, as you can see, it's already ready to open, but I haven't opened it because I kind of wanted to save it for this video. And just in case you were curious, we'll see what's on the bottom of the box. It's the shot with snow. Like last time we got something like this, it was the, the rival attack thing and it had all the scoreboards and stuff. So I'm excited. Let's have a look! Oh yeah, I'm obligated to comply with guidelines. Do you know I'm a competitor? Third party logos in the frame. Hi! I think we know what that is. Okay, we got this, this, oh, we got a big one here. Good job I just bought one of these, innit? Therizinosaurus, <laughs> who's eating. Some confetti! Oh, we got Claire and a Dilophosaurus! Nice! This hasn't been released in the UK. Right, let's put that down there. How much more we got? Oh, is that Beta? Yeah! Oh, we're Grady and Beta! The Velociraptor fox there. Hiya! Oh! This is part of the Hammond collection. It's the Baryonyx. This is the this is like the more expensive collection. Yeah, look at that. We will unbox these, I promise you. Because I think last time I was like, that's cool. See ya. I could have saved myself a lot of money. We got, yeah, I think this is the T-Rex. <laughs> yep, we got, we got the T-Rex here. Lovely. Oh, yay. Friggin' Parasaurolophus. Oh, nice. If there's one of the John Hammond's uh, collections that I actually wanted, it was definitely this guy. How much did they put in here? Oh, we're not done. I think there's, I think we got one more. No, we got two more. What's this? Yeah. Remember me? It's like a Jurassic Park Raptor. Ooh. Oh my God, they've sent me so much. I think that is pretty much it. Wow. The, whoa, that was very generous of them. Thank you, Mattel, for sending all of this. This is awesome. So, after all that, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things. We already kind of have seen, if you haven't already seen, we got videos up on these guys. Click in the top right up there for the Verizinosaurus. And in a second, up there for the T-Rex. And I could just get rid of these now. <laughs> well, we've also got a lot of black stuff as well. But the ones I want to take a look at right now is definitely the Owen and the Claire. Because I don't think we've really ever unboxed a, like a human character. Apart from, of course, Jeff, when he was released, he would do that. So if we just shove all of this over to the side for a second. Utility tool include, I like how they call it utility tool. Velociraptor beta, which apparently looks a lot bigger than it does in the movie. I feel like in the movie, it's half that height. But in the set, I mean, it, it wouldn't really make too much sense if they made it like absolutely tiny in this because it just put, uh, yeah there you go imagine that it's just like that that and then owen might even put it in a big thing like this but that, that, that's irrelevant uh because now let's uh, let's take them out of the box shall we <laughs> winnie again dog cam 
Du, 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 du. Now we get a better look. Let's have a look at Beta. Wow. Oh wow. They they put the they put the thing on the side of it, which is interesting. But it's absolutely huge. There you go. Have Beta in your park today. No. <laughs> That's as close as it can get to the lens. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. It looks so odd. You have a little bit of mouth articulation. You can open and close its mouth. It also has neck. Like you can bend. It has it has neck. <laughs> you can bend its neck. You can even tilt its neck. So you can do that to it. Ah! And uh, you've got articulation with the claws as well. So this beta, I think, has more articulation than a regular raptor has. What's interesting, if you look at the uh, the sickle claws, I think beta in the movie has a broken si sickle claw, but uh, they haven't done it there with these ones, and that kind of makes sense because it would have like cost them a little bit extra to do that maybe. Let's get on to Owen! If you'd already missed an Owen from the last Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, there was something wrong with you because there was apparently 500,000 of them in existence. So here, oh look at that, we need to bounce chicken wow wow music. <laughs> so here comes with a utility stick we'll call it, and a utility tool. Can you hold the utility tool, Owen? Yes, look at that, a utility tool. And so, totally not a knife. America, yeah! Is utility tool in one hand, utility stick in the other. We got this thing, a friggin' fox. Look at that. Why do we have a fox, you might be asking. Whitney, I can already hear you. Keep an eye on the trailers, not to spoil too much, really. But that shot when Beta gets like hoisted up. <laughs> My theory is that maybe Beta has made friends with this fox. <laughs> there it is. You know what this is? It could be some MMO, like uh, Warcraft. He's got, his, he's got his mount, and then he's got his little pet that gives him plus 40 experience for every spider killed. I think they're gonna kill the fox and it's like a bit sad and then it turns out that it's not just sad, but it's evil. <laughs> Thus, the inciting incident happens that wrangles Owen, Maisie and Claire into the whole plot of Dominion. Uh. The exciting incident, sorry, inciting incident. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, speaking of butts, if you look at Owen Grady's arse, you've got a little fanny pack there, and I think, I'm hoping, that you can put the knife. Oh, sorry, utility tool. My bad, bleep that. I didn't say that. Yeah, look at it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, hold on, we need to reenact the movie on his back. You made a promise to a dinosaur. Yeah. Not a bad set. Don't know how much it cost, because it was sent to me for free. Yeah! I mean, do we really need to go into the details and articulation? I don't think so. You, you know what you get with Mattel. It's usually good and you get plenty of elbow, arm, shoulder, knees, head, knees, and toes <laughs> articulation. So moving on to this set. This is of course the Dilophosaurus and Claire. A dinosaur that we have now finally seen. It's been in one movie and there's been almost six of them. <laughs> finally, we have it toy form and we'll get it in movie form. Whoa, happy days. Let's get it out of the box. There's a way bigger gun than uh, Chris does. I didn't hear anything, I didn't say anything. <laughs> Who said that? E. I'll save that for whenever anything happens. I just cut to E. <laughs> Wait, Claire has a bigger Owen. <laughs> Claire has a bigger Owen than Gun. <laughs> Wait, Claire has a bigger utility stick than Owen. <clears throat> Whoa! America. Let's have a look at Claire here. You've actually got more detail on her because she's wearing a coat, and the coat flaps open. Face looks all right. Paint application's not too bad. A giant utility stick. This is for killing all them dinosaurs that Claire's known for doing. I guess that'll do. That's how you fire a gun, my friend. Fire what? That, that's how you fire a utility stick, my friend. It's tiny. It, I think it's some sort of tracking device or walkie-talkie or GPS. And they've put a sticker on it as well. They really didn't need to go to that effort to put a sticker on But you know what? Fair, fair play to them. It looks like they're playing Jurassic World alive. Regular old American couple there. With utility sticks and tools and all sorts. Now onto the friggin' Dilophosaurus. And I feel like we've seen this kind of model or sculpt of a Dilophosaurus before. 
I could be wrong, but I feel like this isn't the first time we're seeing this. It kind of looks uh, probably more like the original Dilophosaur than it does the Dilophosaur in the movie, because that one's kind of just got like a yellow frill, whereas <laughs> this one's got the, the red, the yellow, and uh, little streaks of white as well. Yeah, there you go! Another one for the collection! But if you actually have a look at the sculpt, it's pretty decent. If you have a close look at the head, you've got the teeth painted, you've got the gums painted, you've even got the crest above the head that's painted. And not only that, but the eye and a pupil on something that's actually quite small. So they really uh, went all out for this. I don't think you can close its jaw, however, no. So that's the price you pay for a good paint application. It can feed baby that blue belt. Oh. <laughs> it's not gross, it's nature, it's natural. Yeah! This is my first ever Hammond collection that I've ever had. I think you can get them. I think you can get them in like certain stores, but me. Well, that's the weirdest looking parasaur I've ever seen. <laughs> right, let's get you the right way, shall we? For the little price you pay extra, although I don't know how much it is, it actually does have painted toenails. <gasps> Yay! Just as I'm quick to applaud them for it, they didn't paint the fingernails. Oh, You did the toenails, but you forgot the fingernails. But the paint application's a lot better. You've actually got, oh my god, yeah! <laughs> it actually has mouth articulation. I was not expecting that. Oh, it looks so cute! But yeah, you've got like, the most of the body is like a hard plastic. The tail is all rubber, which is quite nice, because usually these things get like pushed against something and you don't want tails snapping or bending or scratching on something else. But that looks really nice. I like it. As lava rains down, the Baryonyx bursts into the bunker, forcing Claire Deering and Franklin Webb to make a narrow escape in every respect. I think you'll find, actually, Claire just killed it. So why is his nibblet got like a, a pink flesh color? Oh, OK, yeah, this one looks way better than the uh, the Parasaurolophus. Oh, yes, look at that sculpt on the head. That's gorgeous. Definitely the Baryonyx from Jurassic World that we've seen. Yeah! <laughs> you got loads of articulation in the claws here. Shoulders, elbows, knees and toes. Articulation for the feet as well. So they've got like little ball joints on them. Pretty much, if you can think there'll be an articulation in there, there will be. And as well as that, you've got like pelvic articulation for the legs as well, so they can go in and out. Yeah, it looks really nice. I like that one. I like that. I think I like that one more than I like the Parasaurolophus, if I'm going to be honest. It just seems to look nicer. I don't know, maybe the, maybe the tail's a little bit short for the para. I'm not sure. But yeah, I think I like the Baryonyx more. Oh! Oh, its tail actually has some, like, thing in it. Oh, that's quite nice. I don't know what you'd call it, like some cable or some wire to make it poseable, yeah. You know, have you ever had a handshake with somebody who's got a really, like, weak handshake? Ooh, ooh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> that's not very nice. Ooh, I don't like it. It kind of looks like a, a, what would you call it? Like a, a chibi or a... Uh, caricature, that's it. it, looks like a caricature. So you've got like the feet that are very big and then skinny little legs and then big hips and then skinny little body. Oh, actually look at that. Look at that for pose, that looks awesome. Now it looks like it's doing a dancing number. But you see how big the, the foot is in comparison to the rest of it. I think most Mattel things do that and of course they have to just because they have to have it balanced. But uh, <laughs> I like that. And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, Jeff yeah. Goldblum, or should I say Dr. Ian Malcolm with his panted flair, because he thought he'd be the hero, the big macho mano. Then he got almost deaded. During his visit to Jurassic Park, Dr. Ian Malcolm's expertise in chaos theory comes to light in a painfully personal way. Ooh, ooh, Jeff, you look like you're wearing a puffer jacket. You look very warm. Oh, and you've got multiple extra arms as well. That's very good of them. I wish I came with those. Is it the same sort of dimensions as Owen Grid? Oh, no, yeah, it kind of does work with the regular figures. Oh, that's quite nice. We should be able to pull his arm off, right? Yeah, okay, so you've got jacket arms, and then if you take the jacket off, you've got, like, uh, shirt arms. But how do we take the jacket off, Jeff? Well, first, I'm assuming... It looks like uh, Anakin Skywalker or something. <laughs> I don't know, Whitney. I don't know what I've done with him. He's on his jacket sleeve. Oh, that's that's the problem. 
There, and there he is. <laughs> oh, oh no, thank you very much. He can hold his flare. Sort of. No, you're attracting the wrong kind of crowd, Jeff. I love flares. Ah! A disco rave! Ah! It's, it looks like an arm, like armor that you get in the game. Oh yes, mm, I'll take that. You can have one of Jeff's arms as well. How about have both arms? Yes. Da, 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 da. They seem to go a bit skew if because there's so many points of articulation. It's like you just start shuffling to the left. And I can't seem to get him back. There you go. Look at that. Now he's got a flare. No, Jeff. And there we have it. They're all out! everything unboxed! Would you believe it? He didn't just like take them out and then go I'll sell these on eBay. Pretty cool. A good range. You've got like some of the classics that we've you know we've seen in other videos and go up there and go watch them if you want to. As well as like Blophosaurus and then loads of the Hammond collection, the Paris Rolophus, Ian Malcolm, as well as the Raptor actually. I completely forgot about that. As well as some extra bits for Jeff in case he gets cold or he needs a hand. <laughs> so if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye. Oh yeah, thanks Mattel. More please.